Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's see how three-way switches are actually used. So what you want to do here is have a single light bulb, for example, in a hallway that can be turned on from two different locations. How do you do that? Well, with the use of three-way switches. Now, if you have two switches, one on either end of the hallway, on the hallway, each one of them can be in an on or an off position. But you always want it in such a way that if this light bulb is off, that any one of the switches can always turn it on. And once it's turned on, any one of the two switches can always turn it back off again. So the way that works is as follows. Again, the switch is such, a three-way switch is such, that if it's in the on position, it connects internally these two terminals to the switch. If the switch is in an off position like here, then it connects these two terminals of the switch. So if you connect the wires the way they are here, let's follow it for a moment so we can see where, how that works. The blue wire is always connected from the breaker all the way to the device you're trying to turn on and off. So the blue wire, which normally is a white wire in the wiring diagrams, is always connected inside the boxes where you have the light switch connected to. So here we have a continuous wire, the blue wire, that goes all the way to the light bulb. So in every one of the connections, you always have a continuous connection that runs all the way through on one side. Of course, in order to have a current, you must have a path going to and a path coming back from the device. Now, the second path is the one you try to interrupt. Now, what you also will see is that each of the switches are connected to one another on the bottom left terminal. So the red wire represents a separate wire that runs from the one switch to the other switch in each of the cases, from one switch to the other switch, and they're always connected to the bottom left of the switches. And then you need a third switch that starts on the breaker panel here, uh, I mean, a, a third wire, I should say, that starts on the breaker panel that is connected to the top left, and then you have a connection from the bottom right to the bottom right of the other switch, and then from the top left of that switch to the light bulb. So you have the same in each case of the breaker to the top left, from the top right to the top right, from the top left to the light bulb. Again here, from the breaker switch to the top left, from the bottom right to the bottom right, from the top left to the light bulb. So they're all connected in exactly the same way. Now let's see why in some cases the light bulbs will be lighted and in other cases the light bulbs will not be lighted. Notice when both of the switches are in the on position, push upward, the light bulb will light. When both of the switches are pushed in the downward position, the light bulb will light. But if the switches are in opposite positions, this one off and this one on, or this one on and this one off, the light bulb will not light. Now let's see why that is so. So we have one continuous path on the blue wire to the light bulb. To have it on, you have to have another continuous path to go back from the light bulb back to the breaker switch. So from the light bulb, we go to here. If this is in the on position, you make a connection to the red wire here in the bottom left. So the bottom left then is connected here. And if this is in the on position, then this will then be connected to this, which will then, which will then, will then go to the breaker switch. So you have a continuous path from the breaker switch on the blue wire to the light bulb, and then from the black wire along the red wire, back to the black wire, back to the breaker switch. So that's why the light bulb is on. In the off position, when they're both in the off position, again, you have the blue wire making the one connection, and then with the black wire, notice you go from the top left to the bottom right, and instead of now connecting this switch to this switch via the red wire, it's now done via the black wire. So the black wire comes over here. If this is in the on position, it will make connection to the top left, which is then connected to the breaker room, or the breaker, not the breaker room, but the, the breaker switch. All right, so in that case, you have the light bulb on. But if they're in opposite positions, here again, notice that the blue wire makes connection to the light bulb, but with the black wire coming back, notice we go from here to here, and then since it's on position, it's connected to the red wire, which goes here, but since this switch is in the off position, the red wire is not connected to this black wire, it's this black wire that's connected to this black wire, but this black wire is not connected to the black wire over there, so there's no continuous path back, the light bulb will not light. And in this case, it's the same thing. The blue wire will go all the way through and make a connection. On the black wire coming back here, notice in the off position, this will be connecting this black wire to this black wire coming through here. Unfortunately, if this is in the on position, you don't have a connection from here to here. It's a connection from there to there, which is not connected on the other side. So there's no way for the current to get back. And again, the light bulb will not light.
So here are the four different ways in which the switch positions can be set to either have the light bulb uh, burning or the light bulb not on. And that's how we use three-way switches throughout all kinds of house wiring to be able to turn things off from different switches or I should say the same appliance or the same light bulb from different switches and that's the way it's wired.